Hello Freneds. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to convert CSV file data into JSON file by using PHP script. This is simple video tutorial in which we will discuss how to convert CSV file into JSON string using PHP script. Sometimes, we need to implement feature like reading of data from CSV file and then after insert that data into database, then at that time, we have to convert CSV file to JSON string. So here we will make simp upload CSV file form, and after upload CSV file, it will write CSV file data into JSON format, and it will force send JSON file for download, we can get CSV file data into JSON form. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our working folder. So, first we have open index.php file. Under this file, first we have create on form with method is equal to post, and for upload file, here we have write encryption is equal to multi-part form data. Under this form, for select file from local computer, here we have write input type is equal to file, and name is equal to file. And for upload file, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to upload file, and value is equal to upload, by click on this button, we can upload selected file. Now we have go to php code part, and here we have defined one dollar error variable is equal to blank value, under this variable, we will store validation error message. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, and under this function, we have write dollar post upload file variable, so if user has click on upload button, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar files file name variable value is not equal to blank. So if user has not select file from local computer, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write dollar error variable is equal to please select CSV file validation message. But suppose, user has select file, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar file array variable is equal to, explode function, with two argument. In first argument, we have write dot, dot and in second argument, we have write dollar files file name variable. This code will make array from selected file. Forget only file name without file extension. Here we have write dollar file name variable is equal to dollar file array variable with zero index. Next, we want to get selected file extension. So here we have write dollar extension variable is equal to end function and under this function we have write dollar file array variable, so this function will return last index, which will be file extension. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar extension variable value is equal to CSV. So this condition will check, if selected file extension is not CSV then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write dollar error variable is equal to message like only CSV file allowed for upload, so this error message will be display on web page. But user has select CSV file, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar column name variable is equal to array, under this array, we will store column name. And below it, we have write dollar final data variable is equal to array. 
Under this array, we will store CSV file data without column name. Now we have write dollar file data variable is equal to file get contents function and under this we have write dollar files file temporary name variable so this function will read the content of selected csv file into string format and store into this dollar file data variable after this we want to convert this string data into array so here we have write dollar data array variable is equal to array map function with two argument in first argument, we have write sting get csv function, so this function will pass csv string into as array. And in second argument, we have write explode function with two argument. In first argument, we have write new line as string delimiter, and in second argument, we have write dollar file data variable. So this code will convert csv file data into an array and store under this dollar data array variable now from this array we want to get csv file column name so here we have write dollar labels variable is equal to array shift function and under this function we have write dollar data array variable so this function will remove first elements from this dollar data array variable and it will store value of removed elements into this dollar labels variable so here we have get csv file column name after this we want to store column name under this dollar column name variable for this here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar labels variable as dollar label variable under this loop we have write dollar column name variable is equal to dollar label variable so it will store csv file column name under this dollar column name variable next we want to count number of rows in csv file so for this we have write dollar count variable is equal to count function and under this function we have write dollar data array variable minus 1 so this code will return number of rows without column name in csv file which has been stored in dollar count variable after this we want to combine dollar column name array and dollar data array so for this first we have write for loop and under condition we have write dollar j is equal to zero dollar j variable value is less than the value of dollar count variable and dollar j variable value is increment by 1 under this loop we have write dollar data variable is equal to array combine function with two argument in first argument we have write dollar column name variable and in second argument we have write dollar data array with dollar j variable as index so this array combine function will create new array with keys will be make from dollar column name array and array values get from dollar data array variable and new generated array data will be stored under this dollar data variable after this we have write dollar final data array with dollar j as index is equal to dollar data variable so here we have store newly generated combine array has been stored under this dollar final data array so on every loop it will store whole file data as under this dollar final data variable next for download data as JSON file we have write header statement and under this we have write content disposition set to attachment after this we have write file name is equal to dollar file name variable with JSON extension so here we have defined selected file name as JSON file name for define downloaded file content type we have write header statement with content type set to application slash JSON 
So here we have defined JSON content type. Now we want to print data in JSON file. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function. And under this, we have write dollar final data variable. So this function will convert PHP array into JSON string and it will print this data in JSON file. After this, we have write exit statement. So this statement will stop to execute PHP code and it will falsely download JSON file with CSV file data in JSON format. Lastly, we want to display value of dollar error variable on web page. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar error variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if this dollar error variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write echo statement with dollar error variable value, and it will display validation error on web page. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see that when page has been loaded in browser, then on web page, we can see that one file tag and upload button on web page. First, we have directly click on upload button. So on web page, we can see that please select CSV file error message on web page. After this, we have select non CSV file from computer, and after this, we have click on upload button. Now, we have received error message like only CSV file allowed. So here our validation code is working properly. Now we have select CSV file and click on upload button. After click on upload button, here on web page we can see that one JSON file has been downloaded in our local computer. So we have opened this file. So here under this JSON file, we can see that CSV file content has been converted into JSON string. So here our code is working for how to convert CSV file data into JSON by using PHP script. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.